in the concourse from Wisconsin. One day I'll have to get to Wisconsin and check out the covered bridges and the cheese. A little bit brighter shade of red. I think it's lighter than that regal red. A little bit brighter shade of red. 65 months. Aren't they all beautiful? Got the earlies over there. Different sections for modified cars. I don't know how they do the judging. Not your judge kind of person. Comfy? Excellent. Yeah, you make a living. I got a shade thing here. <laughs> this one here is going to win something real big. This one is just tremendous. Beautiful car. Yanko. The fellow that ordered my Fitch Sprint, ordered it brand new, was looking to buy a Yanko Stinger instead of the Fitch Sprint. Of course, I wouldn't have the car because it would have been a lot more valuable and somebody else would have hung on to it. I think we saw this car with the side trim. Didn't see this car. 1966 Corsa. Beautiful, thick side stripe. Highly polished American racing. Mag wheels with old school BF Goodrich tires. Slash cut headers. Oh, not headers. I thought they were headers. Beautifully finished. Slightly modified from stock with a center mount four barrel and the engine apartment as clean as could be. Some people just take the time to make it just so beautiful. The Corsa, just thinking about that, Corsa has two badges. As the C over here that Larry Shinoda used to like. He used to like stickers here. If you look at the Corvair history books, and it had a Corsa badge here. No cross flags. Interesting. The 102 engines, the high-performance engines in the early had crossed flags, as did the Corvette, but no cross flags on the Corsa. The winning crossed flags. Racing Corvair from California. Sports sedan, 1965, 66, 66, 500 bench seat. Sports sedan. I hmm, wonder what they call this color of gold. I don't think it's Olympic gold. Nice driver quality. It's the old pie crust. They call it a pie crust because you use a fork on the edge of the pie crust to attach the bottom and the top together. They did it with a fork. And they nicknamed these tires pie crust tires. You see them right until the late 60s. Then they had multiple stripes of white, red, thin, thick, red stripe with a white stripe. And they even seen turquoise stripes. 1967 interior, telescopic wheel, four speed, and it's indicated as a 500. But it's not a cast badge, it's painted on. Interesting. Nice big American racing wheels, brake drums are shiny. All the spot welds around where they join the inner fender and outer fender are all clean and shiny. Someone has taken the time to detail this car, it has a custom interior. Four-speed transmission, air conditioning, white-faced gauges, beautifully done too. How interesting. Show chrome, shiny black paint, the correct top hat screws. What? Is this your car? No, I wish. Wow. It's a beauty. Wire crosses across the top. A wire supported by a wire. Stiff wire supporting a electrical wire. Sort of like a conduit. Air conditioned. But it didn't hurt the base engine. Like that mount. It burned up everything else. Motor mounts. Everything is polished and clean and nice. It mounts to the pivot for the tensioner. See that? Wow, is this ever shiny and clean? The correct screws and nuts and bolts. Cool white land of Lincoln. That's a 500. Cheapy model. <laughs> you hardly know it. 1965. All the time, but the whole world's listening. I hope. They tell me. Yeah, well, we're not sure about what we're 1965. Shoulder belt equipped Monza. 1965, you can tell it's a one year only red wide grill bar. The 66 is much narrower. This is shiny red, it's detailed and repainted and nice. 
Tremendous detail work on these cars. Time, time, window sticker equipped. Black trim, victory red, four-speed transmission, 110 horsepower, push-button radio, convenience group includes inside no glare, no, no glare mirror, no glare mirror, two-speed windshield wipers, outside rearview mirror, and courtesy lamps. The outside rearview mirror was an option until January of 65. Mag style hubcaps, 110 horsepower turbo air. All detailed. Engine pad. Jacking instructions. Oil dipstick checker for the differential. Last year for that, 65. Door edge guard with gas. Door trim, $10.95. Simulated magnesium wheel covers, $68. Complete price, $2,855.50. And if you would have bought that car new, that would have been all typed on a machine with tons of typing errors. The VIN was stamped at an angle and slightly offset, which I was talking to a guy yesterday from the Netherlands. And he said to me, he says, I do three-dimensional graphics. That's my job. I can make you a window sticker and the last... Is it five or six or seven of the VIN is always at an angle? He can do that. Really? Because the computers only understand right. straight, level, and square. I think I did that. Did I do that on this one? Well, you also put the, the paint script. They call that paint, I think. Yes, yes. Well, GM was st it's, it's stamped, stamped by hand. Right, right. And it's always crooked and, yep. and more pressure on one side. Yep. Yep. So this kid I was talking to last night who's got a 61 Lakewood in the Netherlands, it came from England via California, wow. and he got pictures of the trip across the ocean, and he found wow. out the guy that unloaded it from the boat, doesn't know where the car came from, but there's things that have shown up. Right. He says, I could make that be random. Right. I said, you got a job. You got a job. <laughs> you make these things beautiful, we'll get the last <laughs> detail right. Now this is victory red, and yes. it's different from regal red. Correct. Regal red's a shade or two darker. Yeah, it's more closer to the garnet red. Three shades of red. Yeah. Oh, it, well, this is a late model Victory Red. It was close to the color that it was when I bought the car. Mm -hmm. I had it repainted last year. And I thought, oh, it's, it's go with the Victory Red. So, which is nice because you can buy spray cans if you have to touch it up at all. It's around the shelf. Oh, wait a minute. I got one right here. Let's do it right now. <laughs> You're not putting spray paint on this $10,000 paint job? Come on. This is a $10,000 paint job. $9,999. Yeah. A lot less than that. About half.